Hello and welcome back to Humanizer. So I've been working on refactoring the target shape keys and the first thing I did was refactor this um, resource. This used to be the shape keys data, now it's the target data, so in case you were confused. But it used to be 200 megs and now it's under 100, it's like 98. So it um, the whole resource fits on the GitHub now, which is really great. And basically what I did, instead of having a dictionary of dictionaries of vectors, I made a packed vector3 array and a packed int array. So these correspond to the um, position and index of the ver vertices. And then I have the names dictionary, which just has a start and end offset for these packed arrays for each shape key name. So that reduced the size down, like I said, from 200 megabytes to 100. And that's really important because the target data, target data resource stays loaded the whole time. So you'll have this running in the background if you intend to use this humanizer in game. And I also removed the target data from the uh, data assets folder. That was like 1,200 files, raw text files of target data. And since I'm compiling all of that, I've already compiled that into the resource, so into the target data resource. So we don't really need it in the project taking up space. However, if you do want to add new shape keys, so this will work out of the box. You won't need to import any shape keys. You'll just be able to change these. But if you are wanting to add new shape keys, then you'll have to go download the original target data as well from the Make Human GitHub. So I'll cover that here in a second. But first, I wanted to say a big thank you to Terrence and Samuel for donating on the Rainbow Games Patreon. So I'll put a link to that in the description. It really helps me continue working on this project, and I really, really appreciate it, so thank you all so much. So there's quite a few additional target data packs here on the makehumancommunity.org slash assets site. You can see over here, there's a bunch of tabs for, you got some cheeks and ears and some different like antlers and stuff. So, you do want to check, uh, CCO means you can use it commercially without credit, although it is always nice to credit. Uh, CC BY means that you have to credit. I'm not sure if you can use it commercially or not, so you should probably look at the, um, read up on your licenses, but, so you can grab any of these target data packs, you can just download the zip, or you can make your own um, target files if you want through MPFB2, which is the Blender plugin, or through, I think you have to use the plugin, um, but I'll try to find the tutorial. So you'll extract your targets from there, or make your own, and then you'll grab the folder in the targets and then in your make human project directory so outside of the plugin you'll probably want to make a um, external assets folder and you can name that whatever you want but then you'll need to create another folder called targets in here which has to be named that and then you can go ahead and paste your target data into here. So these are just text files that have the vertex ID and the vertex position. So pretty simple. Now if you open up the project tools humanizer Oh, right. 
first you need to open up the Humanizer Global. So you can get to that through the Project Settings Auto Load. Double click on that. And then in the Config, you'll want to add a new Asset Import Path. And this is the same for um, body parts and clothes. They'll also be in this folder. So we just named it Assets. So we've added a new um, asset import path to the config, and you'll want to save the humanizer global for that to work. And then you'll go to the tools, humanizer pre-processing, and click read shape key files. So if you've just downloaded the project, as I said, the target, the raw target data has been removed. So I've put a little warning message here, and it has the link to the folder in the GitHub where you can find the core target data. So if you go there. And he actually, um, Punk Duck, recently updated all of these to fix some of the helpers, which I think was causing problems with the clothes. So I do have the most up-to-date version of this target data already in the project, at least at this point, but you'll need to go to the Make Human base repository and download the zip file. And then in your downloads, you'll want to extract it. I've already downloaded it, so... And then you'll go to the Make Human data targets. So here we have all of these folders. Um, you may have noticed that I also added the body shapes category. So those are from elves, and uh, they look pretty good, but they're in the menu. So you'll copy the target data back to your project in the add-ons, humanizer, data, assets, targets, and paste all of those in. So now, when you, and it has the target directory where you move those to, so just read the, the warning message, but then if you go to the tools, humanizer, preprocessing, read shape key files, now you can see instead of an error, it just says collecting shape key data from target files. So. And you don't have to worry about closing your authoring scene either. So, I mean, it's probably best practice, but it'll override either way. So, um, you'll just have to wait for a minute for it to process all of those files, because there's quite a few. And once it's done running, it'll say completed. So, I didn't, I, I wasn't able to see the new shape keys here, even after resetting the human. Sometimes it works. But if you don't see your new shape keys, just go to Reload Current Project, and then they should show up. So, but now, under the miscellaneous, I've got these new shape keys, which are really cool. <laughs> so here's the donkey, and let me get that back to zero. The horse, and so its legs are all messed up because the general skeleton is animating, and this is kind of amusing if you, uh, I mean, <laughs> works perfectly as intended. <laughs> so um, obviously you'll have to, if you're using like animal morphs, you'll have to um, fix your, make some new animations for that. But the shape keys are there. And uh, so this would be fun if you're like transforming into an animal and you need like a smooth transition between them. I was thinking for like centaurs and things, you probably would want to do a proxy instead or maybe just like a body part or like, you know, clothing, like an MH clo for the horse body that corresponds, I don't know. Um, I don't think this is going to work very well for centaurs, but if you're a shapeshifter and you need to shift into an animal, um, and you can see if you turn off the animation player, then uh, 
reset the skeleton. So now you can see that it does build correctly and it does actually put the skeleton in there as well as it can. So that's cool. Um, this one is CC BY. So this is from um, JAL D M I C, JAL D Mike. I don't know. Um, so thank you. I won't be including it in the repository, obviously. But this is kind of a fun thing that you can do. There's lots of possibilities. So, and of course, you can make your own shape keys as well. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any issues or questions. And thank you for watching, and have a great day.